Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family-owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779. Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100. Drive home your new Kia from the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. We have brand new Kias arriving daily. Plus, we have a huge selection of certified pre-owned vehicles to choose from. And payments as low as $199 a month. We service all makes and models. And we'll buy your old car on the spot. Right, Oscar? Y hablamos español. Come see us at the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. It's not just a car dealership for me. This is my dealership. Just minutes from anywhere in Indy or online at rayskillmanshadeland.com. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome inside the field house here at University High School on the north side of Indianapolis here in Carmel. Adrian Holden here with you for IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. Thank each and every one of you for hanging out with us here on a Tuesday night with colder temperatures incoming and perhaps even some inclement weather. We hope to keep you company with some quality high school basketball here tonight. The University Lady Trailblazers will host the Heritage Christian Lady Eagles here. Two pretty good teams. One team 15 and four, the other 14 and five. I've had a look at both of these squads this year. Heritage Christian took an L to Cathedral last time I saw them and I believe University uh, I think the university won the last time I saw them. So we should have ourselves a pretty good game tonight. We've got the national anthem coming up. We'll take a break, come back, and we'll have your starting lineups. High school basketball on IndianaHighSchoolSports.com is brought to you by UniversalRoofing.com. Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. I bought a 2020 Kia Telluride. It's amazing. I love how spacious it is. 
I can fit all of my children in there as well as all of my signs for my job. Uh, the customer experience here is top notch. They are super quick, get me in, whether it's an oil change or anything else and make sure that I am well taken care of. Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family-owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779. Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100. And welcome back to the U Center here on the campus of University High School here in Carmel in Boone County. As we'll have ourselves an IHSAA matchup between University and Heritage Christian. First your starters for the visiting Heritage Christian Eagles, coached by Cassie Wiseman, coming in tonight at 14 and 5. Junior number zero, Maya Davis. Junior number three, Corinne Marshall. Sophomore number 10, Jocelyn Marshall. Senior number 22, Maddie Geary. And sophomore number 35, Casey Frost. Davis, Marshall, Marshall, Geary, and Frost, the starting five for Heritage Christian. For University, coming in tonight's matchup at 15 and four and coached by Justin Blanding. Their starters go like this. A senior, five foot five, number 32, Jordan Patterson. A sophomore, five foot seven, number 31, Taylor C. A senior, five foot five, number 13, Peyton C. A senior, five foot five, number 12, Cameron Washington, and a senior, six foot even, number double zero, Kelsey Dubois. Dubois, Washington, PC, TC, and Jordan Patterson are the five for University. The Lady Blazers come into tonight's matchup off of a one point win versus LaPelle. They won that one 51 50. They are nine and one. In their last 10, led by Peyton C, averaging just a tick under 20 points a night and 7.1 rebounds as well. Heritage Christian, as I mentioned, 14 and 5 coming in tonight. They're 7 and 3 in their last 10, and they're coming off of a 71 27 win over Fort Wayne Southside. They're led by Maya Davis, transfer out of Lawrence Central. She's averaging 20 points per game even, three boards, four assists, shooting it at a 48% clip, which is fairly recognizable, if you know what I'm saying. She's putting it in the bucket. Tonight's game is built by Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Visit them at universalrfg.com or call 317-257. 0779 and a super shout out to Genesis Sports Performance and Training Indianapolis area grade and high school athletes and adult strength training visit GenesisSportsPerformance.com Heritage comes out in Navy and the tip slapped into the backcourt and tracked down by University's Cameron Washington Cameron will bring it up 
University is wearing white with gold numerals and uh, blue trim, navy blue trim. And we have ourselves a turnover on the first trip down the floor, excuse me, eight, to side out of bounds. University will stay with the basketball. And Cameron Washington. Right side, this is C. They'll swing it around to Bois to Washington. C comes free up top. She turns and faces. Right side to Patterson. Down low. Over her right shoulder, excuse me, over her left shoulder. Kelsey Dubois can't finish. Got her own rebound. Muscles in. Shovels it up and in. And Kelsey Dubois on the board. She averages 18 and 10, excuse me, 14 and 10. As we got ourselves a three point basket. As Corin Marshall, bang, 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 3-2. Heritage answers right to the basket, muscling it up and scoring for University is Taylor C. And Taylor C, power dribble, draws the foul there. Oh, Jocelyn Marshall, free throw up and good. And now University can attack here with their pressure. Maya Davis, gonna bring it up. Maya shovels it in the corner. Back up top, this is Casey Frost. Casey, cross court to Marshall for three, and she drills it. That's Jocelyn Marshall from downtown. So one for Corinne, one for Jocelyn. Marshall family six. University five. Here's C to Sister C. They try to get it down, down low, deflect it back out to Patterson. This is Dubois. She'll just dribble it right down the baseline and go reverse. Hey, sometimes you need to remember you're six feet tall and you can take it right to the cup. That's what she did. Maya Davis into the corner. Three pointer. Too hard. Rebound. Oh, we have an over the back foul here on Heritage. I believe they're going to catch Maddie Geary here. Yeah, it'll be Maddie Geary with the personal, her first team foul number two here against the Eagles. And a near turnover there, good defense on the inbound. By Davis. Dubois to inbound again here for University. That's a tough spot, but Peyton C has it. Got Geary in her rear view, passes down low, shot no good. The miss there from Taylor C. Now the rebounds to the floor, Casey Frost is down there, C is down there, Panner looked like Cameron Washington was on her way into the fray, but Heritage will have the basketball. 7-6 your score. A lot of offense here early, I like that. 5.56 remaining here in this first quarter. Here's Maya Davis, left side. The Frost straight on. She jabs. They're going to call her for steps. Oh, she had a blow by in mind. But well, she drug that foot. I would keep an eye on that matchup. Dubois and Frost about the same size. And you got to like the youngster Frost there going right at her, even though she traveled. This is C. Gets it to Patterson around the screen into the lane. Dubois, corner three. Sabon from Dubois. For toi. I don't know how to say four in French. I'll check with Miss Lebo tomorrow. 10 <laughs> 6. Another three pointer here early. Maya Davis, the runner off the window, no good. Rebound to University. This is Washington. To Patterson for three. That's going to hit the window. No good. Rebound. Caroms out to the free throw line. And we got ourselves a held ball. Yeah, it'll be a jump ball. Looked like Kelsey Dubois was on her, on her back there and had her back on the basketball. And trying to hold on to it from behind her. That's a tough way to secure the basketball. But a held ball is the call. University will have it. Inbound here from Cameron Washington. Cameron holding. Bounce pass to C. Drives the baseline. Leaves her feet. Pass. Jumper from the corner, no good. Washington can't hit. Rebound to Heritage Christian. Long pass down court. Received by Marshall. Lays it up and in. Marshall with five. Two 
A 10-8 basketball game here early. University leads it by a deuce. Patterson lost it on the way up. That should be Heritage basketball, and it will be. Had a lot of help here. We had some Heritage uh, referees here in the stands. They were pointing and gesturing and trying to help the official with that call. And a reach in there. <laughs> As Jordan Patterson got caught red-handed with her hand in the, directly in the cookie jar. <laughs> she tried to face bluff her way out of the call, but it didn't happen. Here's Davis. All the way to the cup, lays it up no good. And a rebound to Dubois. Dubois has killed a dribble. She double dribbled. Oh, she got away with one. Here's Cameron Washington. Down low. Looks like C. She'll draw a foul on the way up. So Taylor sees going back to the free throw line. Fouls on Frost. It's her first 13 foul Heritage Christian. So C to the stripe. She's one for one, and now she's two for two. And we got we got a dad official over here to his left making a very convincing case on how there was a travel there that wasn't called. 11-8, one more free throw coming here from C. It's on the way, it looks too hot, but it goes directly into the basket. 12-8, here comes Heritage Christian on the bounce with Jocelyn Marshall. Jocelyn, little dribble handoff there for Maya Davis. Here comes Maya, she wants a little overlap there. She gets one from Frost, nice job cutting her off. Back to Frost, Frost puts on the deck. Two big steps, lays it up lefty, no good. That's the second time she's made a nice direct take and couldn't quite finish. See, Dubois thought about the three, puts it on the deck, passes to the cutting Washington, who lays it in with a right hand. Cameron Washington, a nice finish, and a good pass from the big. 14-8, Frost gonna bring it up. Oh, here comes a nice blitz crick there. And she finds some help. Lob down low. Pass is caught, and the shot is interfered with. A foul called here on University. And Peyton C picks up the personal. Her first, team second. To the stripe goes Jocelyn Marshall. She had a three a moment ago when she knocks that free throw down. Jocelyn on the year shoots at 67% from the strike. And this one rims out. And the rebound knocked out of bounds and it will go over to University. So one of two from the free throw line there from Marshall. She has four, they have nine, and they trail it 14 9 to the Lady Blazers here on the road in Carmel. A traveling violation as the trap by Davis and Frost was effective. Patterson decided to try the old Red Rover play and it didn't work. So the inbounds from just to the left of the basket. Marshall to Marshall. Marshall drives the baseline. She's cut off. Pass all the way up top to Frost. She's going to give it back to Marshall. Marshall on the drive. To her sister, step back three, no good. Rebound pulled down by C. Cameron Washington into the front court. They'll pull it out with a five point lead. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Off it slow, just a tad here over the last two minutes. Up top, Dubois. Thought about the three, jabs and passes. Dribble drive, Patterson, nice take. Puts it up and in. Jordan Patterson with a nice finish. And now Frost trying to get it in. And a foul off the ball. This one is on whom? It's on Jordan Patterson. 2 1 Patterson. 16 9 is your score. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. You are watching Indiana High School Sports or IndianaHighSchoolSports.com.
Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family-owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779. Two forty-two remaining here in the first quarter. University out to a seven-point lead here, sixteen to nine. Two forty left in the opening stanza. Heritage Christian on the bounce, Davis to the cutting, Marshall deflected away by Dubois, stolen by Washington. Here come the Lady Blazers. This is C. Washington back to C. This is Dubois checking in for University. Is Kira Bright? She's clapping for it. She has it. She'll put it on the deck, and her pass is kicked out of bounds by Maya Davis. Expecting a good one here tonight. It was tight. I want to say 10-9 maybe, or 10-8. Now it's 16-9. C to Dubois lays it up no good. Dubois got her own rebound, put it up, got the bump and the finish, and then she sits with the flex. With the flex. Dubois has got nine here in the first quarter. Second foul there on Casey Frost. And Casey's frustrated. So Kelsey wants to make it a double digit advantage and she does. 19-9, this is an 11-1 run here. Over the last three minutes, here's a Maya Davis three, no good. Rebound snatched out of there by Dubois. And she'll bring it up, no, she'll give it up to Kira Bright. Here comes Bright, checks her rear view twice. Advances to the volleyball line. Gonna go down low to Kelsey Dubois. She kicks it back out to Bright. Bright drives the baseline. Bright lays it up and in. Oh, she's a bright young lady. She's a bright young lady. She's going places. 21-9. A little short. Jimmy the answer. No good. Missed there by Marshall. Dubois the rebound. Picks up her dribble. Nice little, we'll call it a V-cut there by Washington. Get free. Down to C. C got her shot blocked. And then a reach in there by Washington. So a foul there on Washington. That's her first. And now here comes Subs for Coach Blanding's outfit. Alex Feeney will check in. And also, I think we've got a sub as Matty Geary comes back on for Heritage, along with Molly Eckel. Davis out to Marshall. Marshall to the cup. A little short layup, no good. A little, little flipperachi in the lane. She could not finish. Ball knocked out of bounds and will stay with the Eagle. The inbounds here coming from Jocelyn Marshall. A little confusion here on the call, on the, on the call on the inbound. Davis has it to Marshall. Drives it at Dubois. Back to Eckel. Maddie Geary to Davis, and they'll get it set up, I would imagine, here under a minute. Nope. Directly down to Marshall. She'll flip one up no good. Won't get the call or the shot. Rebound goes. To University. Here's Washington. Washington re engages all the way to the lane, gets bumped on the way up. What a nice take there by Cameron Washington. Manipulating, accelerating, and decelerating. So she'll shoot two. Free throw on the way. It got really quiet in here. <laughs> well, these folks at university are good at being quiet. All the churches around here, all, there's no mad mamas nowhere. It's just quiet, quiet. Let me be quiet too. Second free throw. It's good. 
Someone might looking at me crazy. He got quiet. I didn't know what was going on there, Steve. <laughs> got real quiet. 34 seconds. 23-9. You saw it, Merritt. Dribble drive here. Maya Davis. She lost it on the way up. They'll call it a block shot. She wants a foul. She be, should be fortunate she's getting the ball back here. The lead bit has been extended all the way to 14. Look at that defense from C. Inbound to Geary. Under 25 seconds. University benches getting animated and excited. Geary being tracked down there. She'll pass to Eckel. And the pass down to Marshall's a foul on the play. Alex Feeney going to be called for the foul there down low. So Feeney will pick up her first. 14.3 remaining here in the first quarter. But did we have ourselves a bookkeeping error? No. Here comes C. She'll come on for her sister. Got a couple sets of sisters out here. They got Feeney's and C's and Marshall's. It's a family affair. Marshall looking, looking, and she just threw it off of. <laughs> she said, well, let's, let's try again. That's an old school move right there. <laughs> got a little stuck. Got to throw it off her knee there. She, <laughs> and you can tell she wasn't recognizing it because it was high enough for her to catch it, but she didn't know it was going to happen. <laughs> So here's Davis to inbound. She'll find Marshall. 12 seconds, 10 seconds. She's stuck in the corner. Dribble drive baseline, that's a bad pass. Stolen away by Dubois. Four seconds, here comes Washington. Three seconds, and that pass is knocked out of bounds by Maddie Geary. We might have ourselves a last second shot. We do have enough time for a shot according to the rules at point eight, but it's gotta be immediate, no dribbles. Lob. Dubois, and she had it blocked on the way up. They had the right play come in, but some good defense there by Marshall, and it spoiled the opportunity. 23-9 after one. Back in a moment, you're watching IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. I drive a 2022 Telluride Nightfall Edition. I love it. So when we found out we were having twins, we knew we needed a bigger car with a third row. So the Telluride with the captain's chairs fits perfectly with our family. Uh, it gets great gas mileage. Actually, we went to Holiday World and got averaged about 29 miles a gallon. I like the lane keep assist because sometimes kids can distract you and you're not noticing what you're doing and it beeps at you if you are getting too close to the lines. Ray Skillman Kia is my store. I'll never go to any other store. Can you say? I love Kia. Kia. Say I love Kia. Yay! Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100. Drive home your new Kia from the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. We have brand new Kias arriving daily. Plus, we have a huge selection of certified pre-owned vehicles to choose from. And payments as low as $199 a month. We service all makes and models. And we'll buy your old car on the spot. Right, Oscar? Y hablamos Espanol. Come see us at the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. It's not just a car dealership for me. This is my dealership. Just minutes from anywhere in Indy or online at RaySkillmanShadeland.com. 23-12, your score just underway. As we have ourselves a turnover on the inbound there. We're 15 seconds into the second quarter. We had a bit of a long extended break between quarters there. And while we were away there, Corin Marshall hit a three, and then Coach Blanding immediately took a timeout. Here's another three from the corner. 
too hard. Marshall can't quite hit. Here comes Washington. 11 point lead for the Lady Blazers. This is C. Leading scorer on this outfit. I don't think she scored maybe for one bucket so far. This is Washington. Well, Peyton, she hasn't scored yet. Dubois, power dribble off the window and good. This is about to be Kelsey's night, I have a feeling. She's feeling it here early. Dribble drive, Davis all the way to the backboard and she'll draw a foul. Maya Davis lives off being faster than you. And she hasn't scored either, so how about that? Neither one of the leading scorers for either team has scored yet in this 13-point affair. So Davis trying to get on the board for the first time, and she does. And that's going to be more problematic, in my humble estimation, for Heritage than it's going to be for University. Sums on the floor for University. Kira Bright comes back out there, and so does Patterson. So to reset the lineups as the second free throw is good for Davis. Got Patterson who dribbles directly into a trap. And Dubois, she finds Bright. Bright can't handle the pass. Stolen away by Marshall. Marshall regains handle, and they won't take advantage of the fast break. Now she'll go back to the bucket, kick it out to Maddie Geary for three. That's no good, and it's out of bounds. It's an air ball. 25-14 lead is 11 here for University. So again, they've got both of the C sisters. Taylor goes deep. Kira Bright. Dubois and Patterson. Kira Bright. Full head of steam. <laughs> oh, she thought about a Euro and realized my legs aren't quite that long. So she stopped and had that one partially blocked. They've got a couple of marshals. Maya Davis who fires for three and hits. Bang, bang, bang. She's got a quick trigger out there with Geary and Frost. Oh, nice split there from Kira Bright. Gives him the, man, the numbers. Three on two. Little double clutch and layup there from Peyton C. She's on the board. The lead back to 10. Maya Davis threw that one out of bounds. Maya tries to get, a, get fouls with her upper body and hide the ball well, which she does a good job of that. And tries to get that foul on the way up. I don't want to say a la James Harden because she's not quite using her hips and body, she's using her quickness. But sometimes when you just kind of throw it in the pocket and try to flip it up and get the foul, you lose control of the basketball, and that's what happened there. Sub on the floor for Heritage is Ayantu Jones. Long pass to C, and she is harassed by Maya Davis to the floor. That'll be her first. Now, the foul might be on the floor. Yeah, it's on the floor. Yeah, fouls on the floor. And it's two on her. Inbounds comes to Patterson. Patterson puts it on the deck. Pass Geary out to Dubois for three. Too hard. Nice box out there by Marshall. Keeping Peyton C off the backboard. And Heritage Christian has it trailing by 10. Casey Frost back up top to Davis. Davis needs to get busy. How about the tough shot? She's not going to make that one. Rebound here to, to Dubois. It's a bad shot. Marshall about to check back in. Bright down low to C, has the angle, can't finish. Dubois the rebound. She's fouled from behind by Maddie Geary. So Dubois goes to the free throw line. It's nice having, it's nice having the six foot rebounder in there. Well, we're trying to read lips between Coach Wiseman and her guard there, and Marshall. Neither one of them are very happy right now. Maya Davis is going to take a break here. Second free throw from Dubois on the way. Another one of those quiet spells out of this gym again. They get so quiet, it's scary. 29-17. Here's Maddie Geary to Marshall. Marshall thought about the three, drives, turns it back. Passes to a cutting Geary. That's a tough shot, but she drills it. Maddie Geary knocks down a short Jimmy. Kira Bright lost it, but right to Peyton C. Peyton to Patterson. JP for three. Bang, bang, bang. Jordan Patterson makes the lead 13. 
Off the frost screen, Marshall. Back outside, Jones from downtown, no good. Rebound to C. Frost shows up late to harass. Does a nice job. She's playing good defense. All the way down to the cup. Pass to Dubois. Dubois to Bright. Bright for three. Too hard. Rebound to Frost. Frost going to bring it up. Frost to Geary. Marshall working against Patterson. Sis comes free. Picked up there by C. Trying to get Frost out of there. They want to get Ayantu Jones over in the corner. And that's a foul on Bright. She was already going down. Bright made some contact. The official's going to call that every time. It's one of those situations where two things are true at the same time. She was slipping, but she also had a little assistance. So going to the stripe here after the foul on Bright. Her first is... Corin Marshall. She is shooting one and one, and she missed the free throw. And somewhere, somebody in Carmel is screaming, Bow don't lie. 32 19. Halfway through the second quarter. Bright into the corner with C. And C is going to draw a foul. And an athlete's body language will always tell you what happened. She got stripped clean. <laughs> she thought she lost it out of bounds. She was like, Oh. She was doing like this. She didn't think she got fouled, but the official gets paid to make calls. <laughs> See, it's the lovely part about being neutral. It could have, it very well may have been. Free throw by C is good. One thing I love about makeup calls is their very existence. <laughs> I love that about a makeup call. We got some high conspiracy charges coming from my right. Free throw coming. For C, and she knocked down the first one. Her first trip to the line tonight, she's got three points. Again, the leading scorer on this university team. She knocks down both freebies. The lead is 15. If she gets it going here, this could become a laugher in the second half. Maya Davis back out there. She's trying to get the pass to Marshall. Marshall had done everything except extend the hand. She got the space low. She didn't extend the hand. You got to put that hand out there. Dubois inbound to Bright. They're going to trap her. They tried it, got it back to Big Kelsey. She'll bring it up herself. Seen a lot of forwards, post players bringing the ball up the floor here tonight. Here's Bright, left wing. This is Patterson. Screens fall. Patterson picked up by Davis. Dubois in the corner. Gets a screen from C to Patterson to C. C has it stripped, and it's a dead ball. A whistle and a jump ball. And that possession arrow will favor the Lady Trailblazers of University. 331 remaining here in the half. A 15-point advantage. Inbounds to C. Kick ball. You can keep flailing that foot. It's not illegal to get a kick ball. Inbounds to C. And that'll be Heritage Ball. As, well, as a soccer player that played basketball, I was real good at that. You know, I'd jump up, flinging, flinging feet. Look like a, the old jumping jack. You know, you throw that leg out there. Maya Davis to Marshall. Marshall, step back Jimmy, no good. Rebound Dubois. It's a good shot, she just couldn't quite hit it. 3-10. Jordan Patterson thought about that three. Back to Kira Bright. Bounce pass down to C. Nice look, nice catch, nice finish. Timeout Heritage. All that was good. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. The lead is 17. We'll be right back on IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com.
Welcome back in. We have some artistic interpretations on the drum during the Rocky theme. I've had quite fun, had much fun here with the pep band here at University. I've seen probably six pep bands this year. University's pep band's right there. They're pretty good. Not, not, not bad. They're definitely taking some swings. 36-19, three minutes left here in the first half. This is Maya Davis, a little pick and roll to Geary. That works. Maddie Geary's got four in the quarter. The lead is back to 15. There's Patterson. As Heritage Christian's going to go with a little zone defense and extend it out there. You want to get the five count activated, which they had. Pass is too high and stolen away by Heritage. One Marshall sister to the other. This is Corinne. Corinne kicks it to Jocelyn. Excuse me, I think I got that backwards. Corinne for three, good. Jocelyn to Corinne for three. The lead is 12. 36-24. This is Patterson. That pass is deflected. Oh, well maybe Heritage got squeezed a bit there. Just a little bit. Alex Feeney's going to come off. As Taylor sees back out there. Inbounds from Patterson to Washington. Two minute mark. Maddie Geary down there wrestling with Dubois. And they're going to say, hey, all contact, shots up. She was given as well as she took, couldn't quite finish. Out of bounds and over to Heritage. 12-point game, trying to get it under 10. That's a tough pass caught by Marshall. She's just going to plant and fire and hit. Oh, man. Corinne Marshall, she's got four three-pointers tonight. She just doesn't care. She's firing in your face. Nine-point lead. JP sees a crack, kicks it out to C. Thought about the three. Pass up top. Stolen by Maya Davis. Her favorite thing to do. Maya Davis, Maya Davis has come alive here in the second quarter. She's got seven. The lead is seven. A minute 18. Heritage fans are as loud as they've been. Patterson. Washington on the drive, two steps, floats it up, no good. I love that. Oh, dear. And Dubois goes down hard. Oh, she hit the back of her head. Goodness gracious, hope she's okay. It wasn't, wasn't malicious. Just two people having their hands on the ball, and she let go and went down hard. We'll take a break. We'll come back. You're watching IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100. Welcome back in. Dubois got up. She's, she walked off the court with no help, but she is over there filling it. So Kira Bright is going to go to the free throw line here with a minute eight remaining here in the half and a seven point lead for University. Free throws up and good. It's always a somber moment when you see a kid take a tumble like that. And, and she's over there just really, she wants that back manipulated. She fell directly, I mean just, but just fell on the double zeros almost just below, just below the double zero on her back. Both free throws go, the lead is nine. 
Maya Davis to the basket. She's found on the way up. So Maya Davis going back in the free throw line. She shot two to get her scoring here in the second quarter started. And she was to knock down these two to get the nine points. Foul on University is on Bright. Free throw from Davis is good. And it looks like they got Dubois over towards the training area to get her some action here with a minute left. Free throw from Davis is no good. Rebound. It's going to be a jump ball. Casey Frost got in there. And C tying it up. It's going to be a held ball that's going to go to Heritage. So Heritage has the basketball. They've cut the lead to eight. Here's Davis looking at C on the bounce. Passes to Marshall. Marshall harassed by Washington. Marshall, what a nice way to spin free, but couldn't hit it. Hit it with a little bit of a dream shake there, a little quarter step, a little quarter, little quarter turn, I should say. 40 seconds, Washington on the bounce, picked up by Jones. Nice crossover ball, knocked off her leg, stolen by Heritage. Three on three break. Nice job, finished by Washington. 29 seconds of the six point game. Here's Kira Bright. Bright to Washington. Washington to C. C over a pair. Um, Eagles no good. Rebound to Frost and a foul on C. So Heritage Christian with a bit of energy here and late in the half. Free throws are coming for who? Free throws coming here for Frost. It's their ninth team, so they're shooting the one end. Foul is on Peyton. See, that's two on her. Frost free throw in and out. Nine seconds. C towards her sister and out of bounds. Five point four seconds. Thirty-eight, thirty-two. Your score. Frost going to roll in. Davis going to pick it up. Five seconds. C there, too. She goes right past her. All the way to the basket. Lays it in. That's your half. Maya Davis, unencumbered, unmolested, all the way to the bucket. She cuts it to four. What was once a 19-point game is now four. 38-34 at the half. A tale of two quarters indeed. You're watching IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family-owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100.
Drive home your new Kia from the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. We have brand new Kias arriving daily. Plus, we have a huge selection of certified pre-owned vehicles to choose from. And payments as low as $199 a month. We service all makes and models. And we'll buy your old car on the spot. Right, Oscar? Y hablamos español. Come see us at the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. It's not just a car dealership for me. This is my dealership. Just minutes from anywhere in Indy or online at RaySkillmanShadeland.com. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. I bought a 2020 Kia Telluride. It's amazing. I love how spacious it is. I can fit all of my children in there as well as all of my signs for my job. Uh, the customer experience here is top notch. They are super quick, get me in whether it's an oil change or anything else, and make sure that I am well taken care of. Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779. Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779. I bought a 2020 Kia Telluride. It's amazing. I love how spacious it is. I can fit all of my children in there as well as all of my signs for my job. Uh, the customer experience here is top notch. They are super quick, get me in, whether it's an oil change or anything else and make sure that I am well taken care of. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 
or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100. Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family-owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779. Tonight's game is built by Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Visit them at universalrfg.com or call 317-257-0779. The look through the book is brought to you by Genesis Sports Performance Training, Indianapolis area grade and high school athletes and adult strength training. Visit genesissportsperformance.com. Adrian Holton here with you, live from the U Center here on the campus of University High School in Carmel, Indiana right here on IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. Thank you all for checking us out here. Make sure you share the broadcast with someone that you think might be interested in checking out some girls high school basketball here in the great state of Indiana. At the break, University leads Heritage Christian by a score of 38 to 34. It was a tale of two quarters. 23 in the first quarter for University, 15 in the second, and nine points in the first quarter for Heritage Christian and 25 big ones in the second for the Lady Eagles, and they trail it here by four. 38-34, your leading scorer in the ball game for all scorers is a tie. Corin Marshall for Heritage and Kelsey Dubois both have 14. Then it's Maya Davis with 12. Six points for Peyton C, five each for Taylor C and Jordan Patterson. Four each for Kira Bright, Leah, excuse me, Kira Bright, Cameron Washington, Jocelyn Marshall, and Maddie Geary. So for both teams. Points early in the ball game. We're coming fast and furious. And hey, how about this, Kelsey? Dubois back on the floor after taking that big big spill. They're late in the first half. So she's back out there. I think that's a good sign that it wasn't a head injury, maybe just her back. So she's going to be sore for a couple of days. Now she's got to deal with Maddie Geary and company. A little pass down there from Peyton. See, that shot's blocked by Marshall. She'll turn it the other direction. She can't quite finish. Tipped up, and a foul, I believe, is going to be called on Maddie Geary. Oh, no. Loose ball foul against Peyton C. That's three on her. Keep an eye on that. Peyton, see the team's leading scorer, had six points all in the second quarter. And I think we've got ourselves a bloody nose. And there goes. We got a bloody nose. I think we have blood on the dance floor as well. So Molly Eccles going to check in for Casey Frost. Casey Frost is going to go get her nose packed. And now we need to get someone out here on the floor to get some of this here blood off the floor. Or do we? Yeah, there we go. So, tonight's game is built by Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Visit them at universalrfg.com or call 317-257-0779. I know some of you guys might be listening. Uh, <laughs> and recognize the PA voice. Yeah, that's Coach Keys. <laughs> Some of you folks that are listening from LC. <laughs> yeah, that's Coach Keys. You recognize that voice in the background, yeah. 
So we'll all tomorrow meet him at his door and ask him what he's doing over here, moonlighting up here in Carmel. <laughs> he's trying to get these bills paid. Shout out to him. He's a quality voice and does a great job at no matter where you find him. Very distinctive PA announcer. They are getting the floor cleaned up. I think they've got it. Looks like they're almost, may even almost have Casey taken care of. 38-34, your score, only 13 seconds going by here in the second half. So Frost is off the floor momentarily, and Molly Eckel is out there for her. Here's Maya Davis, going to get a screen. Back to Eckel. She's going to fire one up glass. It almost went in. <laughs> Why not? I think the Heritage fans would have exploded if Molly would have knocked that one down. Without even hardly thinking about it. University swings it around. They've got, they've got Dubois bracketed. They've got Maddie Geary going to front her at all times. And then there's going to be somebody else hanging on to her. they got her fronted and somebody behind her. they got her, they got her nice and sandwiched. Here comes Washington in the lane. She'll float one up no good. Rebound to Dubois. She'll put it up and roll it in. Well, listen. You can play all kinds of attention to her, but if you're not going to box her out, she'll just get the rebound. Here's Maya Davis looking for the angle. She'll float one up high, no good. Jordan Patterson, the rebound. It's a six-point lead for University. Here's C. Nice job of slowing down, not rushing it, and scoring her seventh point. So a quick four points out the gate here for University, and they lead it by eight. Here's Molly Eckel for three, no good. Rebound to Patterson. So some quick shots here from the Lady Eagles, and they haven't hit yet. And that four-point lead is double. 6.21 remaining here in the third. Taylor C. right at the defender. Maddie Geary didn't want to pick up her, foul, her third foul. So she just kind of let her go on by. Taylor C. finishes, and it's a 10-point game just like that. Now it looks like Casey Frost is going to have to go back into the recesses of the gym to get some assistance here as they go running off the floor. Uh, university fans not happy with that call. Looks like Harriet will hang on with basketball. So they've got both the Marshall sisters out there with Maya Davis, Maddie Geary, and also Molly Eckel. Heritage does wearing navy blue and royal blue with white. University in white. Gold numerals, navy blue, lettering and trim. Offensive foul. So Molly Eckel out here just trying to fill in while Frost is being administered, being, being helped out there. Being administered to, that's the word I wanted. Left side, C for three. That's too hard. Rebound to Marshall. Marshall into the front court. Oh, nice job of faking the screen. Stop, find it, and float it. I like it. Jocelyn Marshall. A veteran move out of her. Patterson jumps one to C. Puts her shoulder down. Can't finish over Eckel. The rebound goes to Sister C. She gets the end one on Marshall. Oh, they call it on Eckel. Second foul on her, second team foul on her. The basket is good. And Peyton C is going to shoot a free throw. Molly Eckel will come off, and they'll bring in Jones. No rebounders here for University. I always find that strategy interesting as she misses. Easy rebound there for her Heritage. I always find that interesting. I used to hate when Coach would do that. All the way to the cup, Davis deflected, I believe, by either Dubois or Washington. I always got nervous whenever he sent everybody out. Here's a steal by Maya Davis. She's not nervous, and she'll finish. Her first bucket here in the second half. 
Looks like Casey Frost is back with us as Davis gets another steal. She'll slow one up and use her left this time and finish. So Davis is going back to back here. The lead is back to six. Here's Dubois. Puts it on the deck, jumps a high pass into traffic, stolen by Davis. Davis towards Marshall, stolen by Patterson. Patterson weaving around to a cutting Dubois. She'll bounce one to Washington, gives it up to C. How about some unselfish? The U in university stands for unselfish basketball. I think everybody touched the ball there. C finishes an eight-point lead for the Lady Blazers and a timeout. We'll take it. You're watching Indiana High School Sports.com. Drive home your new Kia from the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. We have brand new Kias arriving daily. Plus, we have a huge selection of certified pre-owned vehicles to choose from. And payments as low as $1.99 a month. We service all makes and models. And we'll buy your old car on the spot. Right, Oscar? Yeah, yeah hablamos espanol. Come see us at the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. It's not just a car dealership for me. This is my dealership. Just minutes from anywhere in Indy or online at RaySkillmanShadeland.com. Welcome back in, Adrian Holden here with you. It's an eight point lead here for University as Heritage has had a couple of spurts here in his in his half. Three pointer from Marshall to Hard. Rebound to Washington. Here comes Cameron. Taylor C. drives the baseline. Geary gave it to her, puts it up over Frost. No good. Her sister gets the rebound. Draws a foul. Peyton C. Back to the strike. This time she'll shoot two. And Maya Davis is going to pick up foul number three. Team foul number three. Peyton C. Free throw good by C. Second free throw on the way, it rolls in. So she knocks down a pair. Here's Kira Bright coming on for Washington. So the lead back to nine. There's Frost. Got paper towels sticking out of her schnoz there. Here's a three from nowhere. Bang, bang, bang. Jocelyn Marshall. I don't even know where she saw that ankle. Just fired it up and hit. Six point game. Sister to sister to Dubois Bucket. There had been some real unselfish ball from these Lady Blazers. They, they will pass to each other. Davis for three, no good. Rebound to Marshall, she'll flip it up, draws the foul. So Jocelyn's gonna go shoot two. Fouls on Dubois. One on her. Jocelyn Marshall. Yes, nine points. Go on and make it 10 after knocking in the freebie. Fifty-one forty-four. your score. Free throw up and good. 
Full court pressure from Heritage. This is Patterson. Staring at Matty Geary. Right side, back up top to Matty. Matty, look at the defense right there out of Matty Geary. And then Maya Davis walked in and found her. Oh, Matty had that all to herself. And Maya tried to come in there and sneak in and get a cheap steal. And she picked up her fourth. So she'll come off. And now we're in deep water here if you're Heritage Christian. You don't want to lose Maya Davis like that, especially so we got about 10 minutes left in this ball game. Here's Patterson right side to C to her sister C. This is Peyton. Pumps on Frost. Puts her backside in. She's going to get called for steps. So here comes Heritage on the dribble. 225 left, down by six. Closest they've been is four. Here's a three to get it to three. No good from number three. Rebound, dug out of there by Geary. Oh, she's got the ball. They'll hang on to possession, but that, that held ball is going to burn an arrow for the Lady Eagles. But they'll have the ball. Here's Marshall. And to Geary. Geary's going to fire for three too hard. Trying to track down her own rebound, but Dubois gets there first. Here's Patterson. She'll bring it up. 2.05 left. Patterson picked up here by Marshall. To C. Down low to her sister. She's tied up. Oh, no, a foul on Marshall. Jocelyn Marshall picks up the personal. Been trapping the bigs hard. That foul's on the floor, but it's the 15 foul. They keep foul like this. University will spend a lot of time in the fourth quarter at the free throw line. Bounce pass comes in to C. This is Taylor. Kira Bright open for three, puts it on the deck, right to the cup, lays it up left hand, no good. Rebound tapped out by Dubois, and it should go to Heritage, and it will. Cameron Washington going to check in here, and who's coming off? Patterson will come off. So Bright, Washington, C, C, and Dubois. Over here we've got Frost, Marshall, Marshall. Jones is checked in for Heritage. And Maddie Geary, 137, a six-point deficit right now for the Lady Eagles. And an offensive foul, a bad pick on Casey Frost. There's three fouls on her. And if you're not pulling the old Mark Eaton and hanging a hip or hanging an elbow, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of the moving screen call. Here's Bright, down low to Dubois, Dubois over Frost, offensive foul. <laughs> so foul there as Dubois picks up number two. Oh, it's not a, not a team foul, I don't think. It's offensive foul, it's not a team foul, they're keys. Here comes Marshall. To her sister behind a Geary screen. No good. Rebound is given to Dubois. Well, C had both hands on the ball and let it go. Here's Cameron Washington. Nice job with the Hezzy, but good defense out of Matty Geary. Rebound to Frost. Frost kills her dribble, but there's Marshall. 53 seconds. Lead is still six. Marshall, step back long two. No good. Rebound, uh, jump ball. C had it. Marshall tied her up. And it'll belong to University with Patterson checking in right here for C. Full court pressure here from Heritage. Jones got to get behind her, her player there. Player goes deep. She's going to be beaten. Here comes Patterson. She's cut off there. Maddie Geary does a nice job. Maddie Geary's just going to guard everybody, I guess. Kara Bright on the dribble. Up top, Patterson. Patterson, a lefty triple short. Rebound to Jones, 30 seconds. Here comes Geary. Coach Wiseman wants one shot. Gives it off to Marshall. Marshall 
Five count not activated. Washington going to step up. Nearly got it going there. Five counts been activated. Three, four, and she backed off. Five seconds, four seconds. Frost to the cup. There's a contact. Oh, and a traveling violation. Two point four remaining. A turnover. Dubois wants somebody to go deep. There's the football pass. Bright can't get to it. Clock finally starts. And there's your quarter. 51-45 after three. Take a quick timeout. Come back. You're watching IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. I bought a 2020 Kia Telluride. It's amazing. I love how spacious it is. I can fit all of my children in there as well as all of my signs for my job. Uh, the customer experience here is top notch. They are super quick, get me in, whether it's an oil change or anything else and make sure that I am well taken care of. Welcome back to action. Heritage Christian trailing by six as we get things going here in the fourth quarter. Adrian Holden here with you live from the youth center. Here on the campus of University High School in Carmel. Three-pointer all the way and missed by Heritage on their first trip by Corin Marshall. Here's C. Thought about the long two. She'll dribble right past Frost. And she smoked the reverse and a foul for behind on the offensive rebound attempt to stick it back by Dubois. The foul's on Marshall. That's two on her. That'll be the seventh team foul. So University shooting free throws the rest of the ball game. Dubois hadn't been in the free throw line in a minute, but she knocks that one down. She took a heck of a tumble right at the end of the first, right there near the end of the first half. It's good to see her back out there on the floor. Second free throw rolls in. She's got 20. The lead is eight. Maya Davis back out there with her four fouls. Dribble drive, Marshall finds Frost. That's an incredible catch by Frost, but it's blocked from behind by Dubois. Now you don't see many lead bounce passes in traffic like that, and there it was. This is Dubois in the corner, down to C. She turns a pass to a cutter, and one. Cameron Washington from C. Just a lot of post passing, a lot of post playmaking. They got that badge on Hall of Fame. <laughs> Do you make post playmakers on 2K, Steve? <laughs> Have you ever made one? First year, this first year I ever got in the park, I had a 7-3 point center. Yeah, I think I started the point center situation. Free throw good there by Cameron Washington. That's true. I can get people to back me up on that. I think I had the first point center before Jokic or anybody. I had him right there on 2K. Dribble drive, Matty Geary over her shoulder, no good. Dubois, the rebound, the lead is 11. Here comes C to her sister, Taylor, Patterson, Dubois, back to Patterson, and they'll set up some offense here. An 11-point lead. University's just going to want to be solid here down the stretch. Here's C. That's a tough shot. Dubois over the back of everyone. Frost thought that foul was on her. But it's not on her. She's going to go rebound. It's not on you, honey. It's on them. <laughs> she, she was halfway through. I think she got all the way through that complaint before she realized that the foul was on them. So Patterson's going to come off. And Kira Bright's back out there. 
It's been a tough night for Casey. She took her a long time to get her nose packed. They went down while she was on the bench, and now she turns one over. Can't handle the pass from Davis. Heritage has got to tighten up right now. Some full court pressure would probably be the thing. Only person full court pressuring is Maddie Geary. She wants to guard everybody. This is Bright, picked up by Marshall to Peyton C. Washington comes free up top. Bright, I think they want to dump it here, but good defense there by Marshall. She's front and Dubois. Dubois switches blocks. Dubois has it. Puts up a strong layup attempt over his shoulder. Can't hit. Ball goes directly out of bounds. I think it hit, maybe it hit him. Eagle on the way out. I like that play design. She got a screen to come across and catch the, the dump down. Here she is on the catch. On the, and then right, right back to Washington. Given goal. That's high IQ basketball. And the lead is 13. Generally speaking, the first person to be open on those passes is the person who made the inbounds as Davis is able to score the other way. She's got 18, 58-47. Here's Washington. They decided to put the upperclassman on Dubois. Although Frost is, matches up size-wise, Peyton C was eating up her opposite number. Nice bounce pass to Dubois. She just takes her time to finish it as easily. Lead is 13. Maya Davis going to dribble it over to Coach Wiseman. Call timeout. Coach Wiseman's come out of her jacket. And she knows her team has got to get busy right now if they're going to have to come back in this ball game. We'll take the timeout with them. Back in a moment on Indiana High School Sports Time Count. Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family-owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779. Five fifteen remaining here in the ball game. A 13-point lead for University. Maya Davis and company. Got a lot of pizza in that box. They want to eat it all. Here's Davis. Frost is open for three. She hits. Oh, Casey Frost, her first field goal. Cuts to 10. Downloaded the boys, back out to Bright, Bright for three. No good. Rebound to C. C puts it up and in. Peyton C, she's not real big, but she is really precise with her movements. Maya Davis floats one up and can't hit. She might be done. Jones is headed back out there. With 427. Patterson, her head up, off the window, no good. Frost the rebound to Davis. Davis on the dribble. Right side, back to Frost. Frost drives, two steps, lays it up and in. I've been waiting on that Casey Frost layup all night. She's been trying to get to it. That's the first one she's made. This is bright. C lost it, got it back. Lost it again, managed to get it to Bright. Bright all the way to the basket. She can't finish. See the rebound. That's a foul on Frost. That's four on her, I think. Well, that's, that's four on Frost. 350 remaining. University is in a great position here. To finish this one off. 
USC tonight has only missed a pair. She's three out of well, three out of six before that one. I found another free throw on my list there. Jones will check in for Davis. Second free throw on the way, and good. Marshall. Well, she went right between two bodies in bright and C. And a smiling official is going to call a foul there on C. That's one on her. Jocelyn Marshall going to the free throw line here. She is three or four before that one, which she is. Washington back out there for C. Eleven point game. Free throw up and good. Full court pressure here. Here's Bright. Here comes a trap. She got away with a turnover there. Here's Bright again. Right side to Du Bois, as I've been informed. Here's Bright. Down to Kelsey. To a cutting Washington. Extra pass. C. Pump and a score. They move the ball really well. They're all very unselfish. They don't care who gets the basket. Here's Marshall all the way to the bucket. She can't hit. C tries to save it, and she does. Here's Bright. Oh, Cameron Washington's open. A little hezzy there. And then she finds Washington. Washington lays it up and good. That's good ball right there. That's good ball right there out of university. And they've got a 14-point lead with three minutes left. Timeout on the floor. You're watching IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. I drive a 2022 Telluride Nightfall Edition. I love it. So when we found out we were having twins, we knew we needed a bigger car with a third row. So the Telluride with the captain's chairs fits perfectly with our family. Uh, it gets great gas mileage. Actually, we went to Holiday World and got averaged about 29 miles a gallon. I like the lane keep assist because sometimes kids can distract you and you're not noticing what you're doing and it beeps at you if you are getting too close to the lines. Ray Skillman Kia is my store. I'll never go to any other store. Can you say? I love Kia. Kia. Say I, I love Kia. Kia. Yay! Welcome back in. A 14-point affair here. Heritage in desperation mode. There's a drive by Marshall, and she's found on the way up. She'll shoot too. I think C's going to get the call here. Free throw on the way. Good. Substitution for your place is number 34. Alex Speedy. She replaces number 13, Peyton C. Greg Marshall at the line for the Eagles. Sub on the floor as Alex Feeney will check in. C comes off. Free throws good here for Marshall. Let's get a little chippy out here. Time out on the floor. 247 remaining. Back in a moment on IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100. 
247 remaining here in the fourth quarter here from the U Center on the campus of University High School in Carmel. Lady Blazers on top and being rude hosts here as they lead it. Oh, a turnover there. Jordan Patterson turned it over to travel. Need a three here to get us under double digits and maybe open up these opportunities. There's Maddie Geary dribble drive. She'll get to the cup, lay it up, no good. Rebound to Cam Washington. She'll pivot away free. Here's a three-woman trap. And what happened? She stepped out of bounds? Yes. Yes, she stepped out of bounds. Nobody. They trapped her and got out of there. They trapped her and got out of there. Nobody really touched her. She it's good defense. She dribbled out of bounds. It's good defense. Use the sideline as an extra defender. 12-point game. Here's Marshall. Stops. And the boys blocks it once. Blocked it twice. Oh, it looks like Marshall's out of gas. And she's got that I'm afraid of a cramp run going right now. I am familiar with that run. Here's the boys being harassed by Marshall. They're trying to get the ball out of their hands up top. Washington. Geary got a hand on it. Jones is in there. And a foul. A foul, I think, on Jones. Coach Wiseman doesn't like that call. Yeah, they got Jones there for the foul. So that's Jones' first. Now two free throws coming here for Washington. She is one. No, she's three for three tonight. No rebounders again at high pressure situation. Free throw on the way and go. No good. Front rim. It looked good. It was just short. She'll have one more. Taylor C back out there for University. Free throw from Washington on the way. And she hits that one. Peyton C going to check back in. Washington going to have a seat. Frost going to come. No, she's still out there. She's going to switch positions. They'll roll it in. No, no roll. Pick up and go. Kira Bright's going to pick up Marshall. Gets hit with the crossover. Pass back out to Sister from downtown. It was too hard. It looked good. It was just too long. <laughs> Here comes C the other way. She, oh, she lost it on her own, and she's out of bounds with it. So I got two unforced errors for University here down the stretch. Three, actually. Three turnovers down the stretch here. And they're fortunate to be up so big late here in this one. Timeout on the floor. We shall take it as well. 69-56 remaining. Oh, excuse me, 69-56 your score. You're watching IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. One thirty-eight left in this one. I think Heritage Christian might be all out of miracles. I've seen one comeback of about this much with this much time left in a college game, but they had shot clocks. And boy, when I tell you everything went right for the old San Jacinto Ravens that night. Here's a three from Marshall. No good. Rebound is to see, but she's tied up, and the ball belongs to University. Minute and a half. Du Bois in the bright. Splits a double, hits the deck, that's a travel. She walked, man. That's the fifth turnover. That's the fifth turnover by University in the last 
probably three minutes. Last two and a half minutes, I would say. Inbounds to Geary, she won't shoot. In the corner to Marshall, she will shoot, and she will hit. That's Jocelyn Marshall's third three of the night. Here's C the other way, and she scores it. Peyton C with six here in the fourth. A three from Marshall, no good. Rebound to Patterson. She'll get free find Bright. Bright's in the front court. Bright to the cup, and she blew it. Rebound C, pumping a rebound average. Peyton C hits. Timeout, Coach Blanding. The lead is 14, 73, 59. One more break. Let's take it. Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family-owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779. Welcome back to University High School, the U Center. It's a nice campus. It's a really nice campus out here. This is College Prep School on the north side of town. It's kind of a college campus a little bit. Here's Frost, puts it on the deck to Marshall. Marshall trying to get that three off, and oh, they're going to get washed in with a touch foul. University one and one coming the other way here for, which Marshall is this, this is Corn? This is Corn. She had 14 in the first half. This is her first point in the second. Yeah, she knocks them both down. 43 seconds, 12-point game. Patterson, ball dug out of there. Into the corner, Marshall fires, hits! Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Marshall from downtown, it's a nine-point game. 25 seconds, and now a foul. Well, if they got one more free look at a three, we might have had ourselves some real tight. <laughs> Blazer fans around here. But with that foul, Miss Washington can make this a 10-point game, and that should, <laughs> should, mind you, slam it shut. She's going to get two out of it. Definitely just needs to make one. And we can pry. Oh, my goodness. That didn't hit anything. One more. You get a little tired there late in the game sometimes. A little bit more, a little more leg in this free throw. That one's good. That'll make it a 10-point game. 20 seconds. Here's Marshall. Nearly lost it. Hard bounce pass to her. She just fires for three. Side backboard. And they're all looking at coach. Someone, what should we do? Do we foul? Do we not foul? Kira Bright's dribbling in circles. Maddie Geary says, I will defend until I die. <laughs> I like Matty Geary a lot. That'll do it. 74-64, your final. University wins their 16th game of the year. 74-64 over Heritage Christian. An entertaining ball game here from the U Center. Your leading scorer in the ball game. Kelsey Dubois. <laughs> she had 22 in a ball game. We'll run through the book here with University. Four points for Bright. Cameron Washington, two, four, six, eight, nine. 13 points for her. 19 points for Peyton C. And she did that in three quarters. 11 for Sister Taylor. Five for Patterson all in the first half. 
23 in the first quarter, 15 in the second. Twenty-three in the first, twenty-three in the fourth, fifteen and thirteen in between to bring them to seventy-four. Quality output offensively from University. Leading scorer here from for Heritage Christian. Let's see here. We've got two, four, six. That's eighteen for Maya Davis. And how about it? Nineteen for Corin Marshall. So Corin Marshall, that last three she made, put her over the mark to make her the leading scorer for Heritage Christian. Uh, so 18 and 19 respectively for Davis and Marshall. Jocelyn Marshall. Eighteen for her. And four for Maddie Geary. Five for Casey Frost. And that was it. Needed a little bit more scoring. And then 19 for Marshall, 18 for Davis and Jocelyn Marshall. And then nine from Geary, or, or nine from Geary and Frost together to give them 64 points. Nineteen in the fourth, so they went like this. That nine point first quarter is gonna haunt them in this one. Nine point first quarter, 25 in the second, which is their best, 11 in the third, and then 19 in the fourth. They just didn't quite have enough to knock off University here tonight. What a fun ball game this was. Thank you guys for checking us out here on IndianaHighSchoolSports.com. Adrian Holden, a main man, Steve Hunter over here on the ones and twos. We are going to take it to the house for everyone who makes everything sound wonderful around here. My name is Adrian Holden, bidding you a fair and fond adieu. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Drive home your new Kia from the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. We have brand new Kias arriving daily. Plus, we have a huge selection of certified pre-owned vehicles to choose from. And payments as low as $199 a month. We service all makes and models. And we'll buy your old car on the spot. Right, Oscar? Y hablamos Espanol. Come see us at the all-new Ray Skillman Northeast Kia on Shadeland Avenue. It's not just a car dealership for me. This is my dealership. Just minutes from anywhere in Indy or online at RaySkillmanShadeland.com. Hi, I'm Steve Hartley, owner and founder of High Gear Marketing, a digital advertising company focusing on data to help businesses improve market share and drive new customers. Are you tired with the lack of accountability from your current vendors? Are you frustrated with your return on investment? Well, my program is different. You actually don't pay unless you sell something. High Gear Marketing takes all the risk. You have zero to lose. If you're interested, text me at 317-523-4100. Looking for training that makes a difference? Then Genesis Sports Performance is for you. Whether you're a grade school, high school, or college athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, Genesis has customized programs providing rapid gains in strength and conditioning, speed and agility. Genesis features a 7,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art weight room and huge turf surface. Call Genesis at 386-7459 or visit them at genesissportsperformance.com. Universal Roofing and Exteriors is a family-owned and operated business, providing care and honest service for over 30 years. Universal has always been a little bit different. Their certified and trained employees don't just provide excellent work at a fair low price. They care about their customers, simply providing great customer service. Quality, honesty, dependability. That's Universal Roofing and Exteriors. Call us today at 317-257-0779.